get your motor running. Get it on the highway. No, Steve, it's not a motorcycle helmet. This is a BMX helmet. Mine got stolen last night. Health food store. I pull up. I lock up my bike. I go in. I'm buying some miso. I see a guy. I swear he's a vegan on one of those adult tricycles. By the time I get out, he's gone. His goofy adult tricycle is gone. And my helmet is gone. Never trust a vegan on a tricycle. Oh, hey. Didn't see you folks here. Welcome to another session of Lotus Pro Connect. As you can tell by my headgear, I rode my bicycle in today. And I'm sure I produced, thanks to the bumping and the vigorous lower body movement, I produced more gas than I used, which I think may not be good for the riders behind me. And I hear the French do that as a secret weapon, gas production during the Tour de France, right behind them. But I used no carbon footprint. No carbon fuels, no carbon footprint, which brings us to these products. I'm digressing, as I tend to do. But let's take a look at these two products we have here. One is a organic super cleaning concentrate. One is good old-fashioned chlorine bleach, the type of bleach my grandma used to use to clean my grandpa. But that was in a day when the environment was an enemy. If it grew, you cut it down. If something from the environment ate your crops, you shot it and ate it. Today, things are a bit different. Our environment is probably a little more urban than my grandma's, but the fact of the matter is that in spite of the fact that this is a green cleaner, it's got a relatively large carbon footprint. It comes in a bottle, which is made of what? Plastic. It's made in a large manufacturing plant. It arrives on a truck, in a carton, via distribution, via warehouses. It's handled, it's stored. Very similar to this. The only real differences here in terms of carbon footprint are at the manufacturing stage. This produces less toxins than this. And at the end of the life cycle, if you pour this down the drain, you're killing probably not only endangered species and eventually our planet, breaking the law probably too, this you can pour down the drain and you won't have so many harmful effects. Regardless, still quite a large carbon footprint. In our case, there is no large manufacturing plant. And how many trucks, ships, or airplanes does it take to move this product, this distance, to my hand? None. Not a one. And that's where there is the big difference. We are made on demand. And you can see on this little cut sheet that we prepared that there is not a significant difference in terms of carbon footprint between these two products. Ours, on the other hand, requires no distribution, no warehousing, no shipping, no packaging, no manufacturing, no pollution, no recycling. So if this is a size 30 shoe size for its carbon footprint, and it's got a smelly sock to go with it. This is about a size 23 in a ladies. This is a size 2 cute little baby shoe in terms of carbon footprint. That is the difference. And it's a big one when it comes to the real story behind the environment. Thank you very much for joining me today to discuss the greenness of our product versus green cleaners and chemical cleaners. See you next time. I'm Davis Gravelsons for Lotus Pro Connect. Get your motor rooting. What do you think, Steve? I'm starting to like this helmet. I might have to uh, get my son one of those new MP3 player helmets if I want to hang on this one. But the really good thing about this one is what? Nice and clean. Hey, hey, wait.